Well, the SPICE or Life Summit was held today to reach out to the community about the dangers of the synthetic drug called SPICE. WVUA's Yostina Banu joins us live from the studio. And Yostina, of course, this, this actual event was actually to help people stay away from this dangerous drug. Jabari, New Zion Baptist Church took part in these efforts by hosting the summit. Today, people gained knowledge of the use of the drug and were provided with health services to aid in recovery. According to the Washington Post, Alabama health officials reported 462 patients visited hospitals after using the synthetic drug known as Spice. 96 were hospitalized, two died. Mother Deborah Harris hopes the Life for Spice event opens everyone's eyes, especially teens. Hopefully this will spark a greater concern, especially being that it's the summer and I have our young people out. The Northport Police Department is leading the charge to bring awareness about the synthetic drug. They want parents and community members to know they will stay ahead of the game, but they need your help. As the leader of the police department, we want to make sure we get back in the community. We want to bring the community together and let them know that we are here for them and are working with them. Other leaders also in attendance includes the West Alabama Narcotics Task Force. The task force provided parents with information to help them know if their child is abusing drugs and alcohol. Some signs include a drop in grades, switching friends, loss of initiative, and becoming more secretive. Northport Mayor Bobby Herndon says in his lifetime we may not be drug free, but this event is a great start. Well, we got a, a great first step is making people drug informed. And if, if they're informed about what they can do to their body, that it can kill them, it, in a lot of cases it will kill them. Um, maybe we can get the, the point across, maybe we can hammer it into them, and maybe somebody will finally listen to it. Now, if you'd like to hear some real-life stories from real kids, you can visit AboveTheInfluence.com. Reporting live in the studio, Yostina Banup, WVUA News.